is Stan Kutcher, professor of psychiatry at Dalhousie University and uh, director of the World Health Organization Collaborating Center there. Mental health care in Sub-Saharan Africa is a substantive challenge. It's an area that has been quite neglected over time. It's an area where there is tremendous stigma. It's an area where the human resources that are needed to provide care that people need haven't been there. Access for young people to mental health care basically would be pretty well non-existent if you had depression or an anxiety disorder, something like that, they just wouldn't be the care for you. Mental illnesses are disorders of brain function. If we really want to help people be successful in our highly evolving technological post-industrial societies, we really have to pay tremendous attention to helping them use their brains as effectively and efficiently as possible. What we are doing is, uh, both in Malawi and in Tanzania, we are taking these components, the school-based approach, the enhancing of capacity in primary health care by training individuals to provide that care, and then adding to it this incredibly unique piece which is reaching young people through uh, radio broadcasts and basically what is the radio soap opera <laughs> about uh, mental health uh, challenges. <laughs> It's something that they can relate to, and then it's something that it's really describing that particular age. A lot of us are interested in the drama. It is, it is cool, it is fine. It's very inform informative and educative. Drama it makes popular to many people. You have to reach young people through the medium that they are comfortable with. And uh, through discussions with uh, Kevin Perkins, who's at Farm Radio International, and we're talking about the use of radio in Africa, and it, it occurred to me that here was a potential vehicle which would be able to reach young people in their communities, which if we could use storytelling to start to address the stigma around mental illness, if we could use storytelling to, to, to engage young people into wanting to know and learn about these issues, this, this could be something really neat. And it's turned out to be something that's really neat. In a positive mood. Relax, relax, mm. relax. Positive mood. Relax, positive mood. Relax, positive mood. I was surprised. The time is very short, the impact is significant. Carly Silver, I'm the VP Programs at Grand Challenges Canada. We um, support bold ideas for big impact in global health. Um, and by bold ideas, what we're really talking about is science, social and business innovation. And the big impact we're looking for is improvements in, um, in the lives of end beneficiaries in developing countries. We receive a lot of pitches. We receive very few pitches for um, very good radio shows as part of the story. And so I think it's very exciting. And I think that power of pulling in um, well-known people um, who can actually be advocates um, in whatever way for mental health is, is a very strong, um, strong appeal that lots of people try to do and very few do successfully. So I think that's the really exciting thing about where Farm Radio is, has been successful over the last little while is, is essentially putting together a mental health literacy program with the right people and the right mix of storyline that essentially means the whole country is really excited about it now. Positive mood! Yeah. Yeah. So imagine um, anyone who's suffering from a mental health condition um, in a low resource setting, one of the worst things is to have um, zero hope for, um, for anything to actually be able to improve. Um, and this is what uh, the innovations that we're trying to support um, are, are looking to try and do. The bottom line though is that essentially there is no health without mental health. Anytime we're trying to tackle things like infectious diseases, HIV, tuberculosis, all of these things, if you throw in um, complications of mental health, we're essentially going to make very little progress. I think this is a very interesting opportunity to actually um, be part of a global um, uh, community essentially that is solving this grand challenge of increasing the access to care and effectiveness of treatment. Yeah.
I understand that this radio program in Malawi is, is one of the most uh, sought-after programs, highest-rating programs in the country. The kids love it. They, I think, identify with the characters. The radio team has worked with outstanding people on the ground there, and they have created wonderful stories and, and engage young people in a way that uh, is just fantastic. I gotta say that I had absolutely no idea that it would be as successful as this. I was hoping that it would be successful, but I had absolutely no idea it would be this successful. And that's incredibly encouraging because now if we can link that success in reaching young people, making them aware of these issues, to having care available for them in their communities, We've done what we need to do.